Hi there, my name is Cole Portman. I'm a no-code developer, and today I'm going to be showing you how I built a one-to-one -one chat app using software and Airtable. This can be applied to many different use cases for things like marketplaces or client portals. And I know it's something that a lot of clients of mine, as well as others, have requested, but couldn't really be delivered on in a clean, effective manner. So without further ado, let's see how I structured the database, connected it to the front end, and see how it all works. So here we have my home, home profile page. I'm signing it as Bob Ross right here. And then we can click on the all members page, where we can see all the members that are in this app. So let's start a conversation with Tony Stark. We can view his profile. And he, as you can see, we have a start conversation button. So when I click this, it'll start a conversation. And then it'll take us to a inbox page with that conversation. So as you can see, we have zero conversation messages in this conversation with Bob Ross and Tony Stark. So I'll open the conversation. And then now we can make a message. Hi, Tony. Wanna paint? Wanna paint some trees? Boom. And now, as you can see, we have Bob Ross sent Tony Stark a message to paint some trees on this date at this time. And now if we sign in as Tony, all right, here we go. So we can see here we're signed in as Tony. I'll click on all of my conversations. Here's the one with Bob Ross. We'll open that conversation. And there we can see the message we had earlier. Let's do it, Bob. There we go. And then if we go to the conversations page, we can only see conversations that me, Tony Stark, are a part of, whether I'm a person receiving that conversation or starting that conversation. Now, I'm sure we're all excited to see what this looks like under the hood. So let's check out the Airtable database structure. So first things first, we have a users table Pretty standard table for any type of web app or portal. We have name, profile picture, email, and then a few link fields here. We have one field that is linked to conversations that the user has received, as well as a link field for conversations that they have started. And then finally, a link field for the message that they have sent, any messages that they have sent. I've also included some count fields and a formula field that just gives us some nice insights as to how many conversations total there are or messages. And then we have a conversations field or table. We also have a conversations table. This is pretty much the link between messages and users. So we can see if we have this conversation between Bob Ross and Tony Stark. And we can see the user who started the conversation as well as the user who is receiving this conversation. And I also have a couple lookup fields here for things like profile picture, as well as emails. And then if we go into softer, oh, here we go. I can go to the all conversations page. And then here is where you can see all the conversations that you're a part of. And if we go scroll down to the conditional visibility filters, you'll see that it's showing list items that match any of the following conditions. And those conditions are that the conversation starter email is the logged in user's email or that the recipient email is the logged in user's email. So that is how you will show the conversations that the user is a part of in their inbox. And if you hop back in Airtable, you can see things like conversation age, how many total messages are in the conversation. That's just a count field of all the messages, as well as the last message that was sent. And then we can go to the messages table. Here we have a link field 
to the ID of the user who sent the message. Then we have a notes field or a message field. We can actually rename that. The date that it was sent, as well as the date it was created, and then the conversation that it's linked to, as well as the conversation that it's linked to, and the record ID of that conversation. So these are all the fields and tables you're gonna to need to build a chat app for a one-to-one -one functionality. If we go to software again, we can actually see how it's all coming together with the profile page. So here we have the profile page. So if I'm a user and I wanna select or start another conversation with another user, I would come here and select start conversation and if I click on this, you'll see this is actually a form. This form is basically going to the conversations table and it is using two different hidden fields, one with the record ID of the conversation starter, so the logged in user's record ID, and then the record ID of the recipient. So that would be the record ID of the profile that the logged in user is currently on. And then when they submit this form or just click the button, it'll open the page to all of their conversations. So if we go to all conversations, we have an inbox view of all the conversations. And I already showed you the conditionality here. And then there is a button field that takes us to the conversation details, open conversation. And then on the open conversation details page, this is where the actual conversation is held. So we have a text block or a list details block that lists the ID of the conversation and then a comments block. Now the comments block is mainly the, now the comments block is the main vehicle for the messaging capability. With this, you can have an actual inbox or an actual chat looking UI versus having a f softer form and then you just submit that form every time you wanna send a message. This is a much cleaner UI for a messaging use case. So these are all mapped to the fields inside of the Airtable base. So to recap, in the front end, let's go to the home page. Here I am, sign in as Tony Stark. If I want to make a new chat with someone, I can go to any of their profiles. Let's say I wanna make a new chat with Bruce Wayne. And then here I am on Bruce Wayne's member details page. And then here are, is the form or button to start the conversation. And when I click this, it'll grab the record ID for Bruce Wayne and myself and then create a new record in the conversations table with both of those linked fields. So now it's creating that record and it has brought us to our conversations that we already have with Bruce Wayne. So we have an older conversation and then a conversation that I just started. So right now I have it set up to show that the conversation starter is the first name, but you can also make this more customized to your specific use cases. But now I can open the conversation. And then here we have some messages from earlier that I already used as test data. But yeah, this I think solves the problem of building a one-to-one -one functionality in software. And I really hope that some people can iterate on this and even make it more advanced. I was actually thinking about trying to build a read receipts functionality. So you can make a script that when a page is loaded of a conversation, it'll actually call a webhook to this conversation record and then update it as a read conversation. But that is still further down the line. I've not gotten that far yet. We will see maybe in the next tutorial, but I'd love to know what you think about this process, if there's any tips or tricks that you think would add to this or that maybe you do differently, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. 
And if you'd like to optimize your business or include something like this in your current tech stack, please reach out using the link in the description. And I look forward to seeing you soon. My name is Cole Fortman, and thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.